Students, in today's class, let's learn about Europe, one of the seven continents in the world. Europe is the continent in which the Industrial Revolution first took place, which made factory-based production a significant feature in the Western European countries. The Europeans hence tried to gain control over the other countries and continents in the world. The continent of Europe is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean, which is frozen most of the time on the north, and the Atlantic Ocean on the west. The Mediterranean Sea is in the south of Europe. On the east of Europe are the Ural Mountains. The Atlantic Ocean separates Europe and North America, while the Mediterranean Sea separates Europe from Africa. The sea route to America was discovered around 500 years ago by the European people and therefore millions of people migrated and settled down in America. Students, did you know Mediterranean means middle of the world? But do you know why it was called Mediterranean? The continent of Asia is located east of the Ural Mountains which form the eastern border of Europe. The continents of Europe and Asia are a continuous landmass which is called Eurasia. Now, let us have a look at the mountains in Europe. There are many high and snow covered mountains in Europe. The Alps is the most important mountain ranges in Europe. They are covered with snow throughout the year. They are covered with snow throughout the year. The Caucasian mountains, located between the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea, are also very high and covered with snow throughout the year. These mountains serve as the southern boundary for Europe. When it comes to the plateaus, one cannot find large plateaus in Europe. Some small plateaus can be found in the countries like France, Spain and Germany. The vast plains are one of the significant features of Europe, which is spread across the whole Eastern Europe. The plains of Eastern Europe spread across countries like Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Belarusia, etc. The plains receive heavy snowfall and experience severe cold in winters. The snow melts in the summers and forms small streams which in turn form big rivers. The rivers like Dnieper and the Volga have originated in a similar way from the plains. The Volga river is the longest river in Europe. Students, as we all know, the water from the rivers is used for irrigation purposes. The rivers in Europe are also used as waterways. The rivers are used as waterways in which people and goods are transported by ships. Also, as these rivers flow across different countries, they also help in international trade and transport. The River Rhine is one of the important rivers in Europe as it flows through many countries and merges into the North Sea. The presence of many major industrial and mining cities on the open seas facilitates in intercontinental trade. On the other hand, the Volga River empties into the Caspian Sea, which is a vast lake in Europe. As the transport of the open sea is not possible through this river, the cities on this river are not linked to transcontinental trade. <laughs> 